Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2019 Mazda MX-5 RF. Up front is a 2.0 liter inline four. Down below is a six speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here ND for two reasons. First of all, I'm a big Mazda fan. If you didn't know, I'm a huge Mazda fan. I love them. I've owned five Mazdas myself and I think they make fantastic cars. But the second reason is the fact that this is an automatic ND Miata and I've never driven one with the six speed auto. So it's time to see if the automatic is worth anything. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zachpradle.com, where you can buy stickers and other merchandise when it becomes available. You can also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you can get a video of your car just like this one. And you can read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that two liter under the hood, making about 181 horsepower, which is actually pretty good. Now this is what's known as an ND2. From 2016 until 2018, that was technically the ND1. And that only made about 155 horsepower. But in 2018, they bumped that up to 181. They gave it a backup camera and some other tweaks here and there. So this is the MX-5 that you really want. Slightly updated a little bit nicer here and there but like I said paired to it six speed automatic transmission now Mazda uses a six speed in everything that they make that's not a manual transmission and right now they only make two manual transmission vehicles this car and the Mazda 3 if you get it in front wheel drive you can option a manual. And so, you know what? I honestly don't mind the automatic. We'll talk a lot more about it at the end of the video, but it's here and they do make automatic MX-5s. A lot of people don't know that. Last but not least, of course, the MX-5 is rear wheel drive. So that's stuff out of the way. Let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have three main gauges. On the left is a digital gauge that gives me my coolant temperature, fuel, and other odometer things. I can also zoom in on the temperature if I go to a track day to kind of keep a better eye on that stuff. Really, really like that. In the center, I get a tachometer, which is absolutely fantastic. I love center-mounted tachometers. I think every sporty car should have a center-mounted tach. And off to the right, I do have my speedometer. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my voice commands, skip track, info, and phone options. And off to the right, I have cruise control options. And I do have paddle shifters around the back of the steering wheel. Off to the left, I do have a climate control vent, as well as my traction control on and off. And moving out of the door, something very, very interesting that very few cars do these days is actually have the exterior paint on the inside. So you see this top kind of finish panel? Well, it's in the same paint as the outside. And if I got an orange one, it would be orange. If I got a white one, it would be white. Supposedly the Jeep Wrangler allows you to option something like this, but it's very rare to find in modern cars. But that being said, I do have a latch to get in and out, my power mirrors, power locks and power windows. Moving into the center, I do have a infotainment system. This is Mazda's older infotainment system. I call it the red bubble system for obvious reasons. And it's kind of clunky, not my favorite, but it definitely works. Then I have a climate control vent and my hazard switch. And then I have the climate controls. Temperature off to the left, fan speed in the middle and where to send it off to the right. As well as down below, I have a couple of interesting things. I do have my convertible top option. So this is a power hard top. They call it the retractable fastback. That's what RF means. You can basically use a power target top whenever you would like. Then off to the right of that, I do have heated seats, SD card for my navigation, and then USB and aux in. Then we come to the shifter itself. This is something I've never dealt with, an automatic shifter here in the MX-5. And what's interesting is actually to get it in and out of gear, you press this button up at the top. It's kind of weird. Normally, like other Mazda automatic shifters, the button's around the back. No, this is up at the top. Because this is automatic, I do get a sport mode, which is very, very nice, and I can turn that on. And it just lights up with sport underneath what gear I'm in on the dashboard. Then I get my selector dial for that center infotainment screen, like I mentioned. It's big, it's knobby, but it has great tactile feedback, and I've really come to know and love this knob. It's one of my favorite knobs there is, and I just love touching it so much. I also get the volume knob down here too. Maybe that's my favorite knob. I don't know, it's a battle of the knobs here in the MX-5. I love the position of it because it's where I naturally rest my hand. And I think that that's really nice. 
Then I do get a center console and the handbrake. Now I do get cup holders. However, they are movable here in the MX-5. So I can place them off to the right if I don't have a passenger or I can place them behind me if I do have a passenger. However, no matter where they are in the vehicle, they do not pass the big friggin' bottle test. Now we gotta talk about the seats. The seats are cloth. They are pretty comfortable and they have decently high bolsters to hold you in the vehicle. They do give you that slightly sporty feel. However, this is not the Recaro package. You can go and find the Recaro package for the ND, which gets a little bit more aggressive seats if that's something that you'd like. However, we don't have any back seats. We do have a tiny little trunk. It's an MX-5 trunk. You're not really gonna be blown out of the water. You're not gonna be able to take a month long vacation with it, but a little weekend trip, duffel bag, sure. Yeah, you can make that work. But now we gotta talk about the exterior. This is finished in soul red metallic, and I absolutely love this color. I think not only is it the best color from Mazda, it's one of the best colors to come out of cars in the last 10 years. I think the 2010s, this has to be top five best colors ever put on sale. And I love how deep it is, how rich it is. It's, I believe, a five or six layer paint. Don't quote me on that, but it's five or six layers. It's a lot. And so if you need something repainted, well, you're not gonna be terribly happy about it. However, you probably will need something repainted. Reason for that is that this vehicle only has 57,000 miles on it, and you can already tell it has pretty terrible rock chips. That's across the board with modern Mazdas. Even my own personal Mazda 3 has really bad rock chips. The CX-5s get really bad rock chips. Their paint is just so thin. They have these really interesting colors, but they can't spray them with enough material or else it'll cost a fortune. So they spray them really thin and they look good on the dealer lot, but they end up chipping. So my suggestion to you is that if you buy a new Mazda vehicle, either get it PPF, which is like a clear film or like clear broad, they call it, or get some type of actual covering for the front of the vehicle. Just my two cents. But now, with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think? Finally driving an automatic Mazda MX-5 ND. Really, Miata, ND Miata, let's be honest here. Well, I think it's easy to point fingers and say, oh, it's an automatic, why would you waste your time with an automatic transmission? Well, there's plenty of good reason to buy an automatic. A, it's the only thing you could find and you want an MX-5. Here you go. B, if you struggle with hand-eye coordination or maybe if you're missing your left leg or right arm or something like that, if you're an amputee, you might want an automatic transmission. You don't have to worry about a clutch. You don't have to worry about an automatic. If you don't wanna buy a manual because you're scared to learn, don't let that be an actual reason because learning is very invigorating when you actually figure it out. But some people live in the city. They don't want the manual transmission. There's tons of reasons. And so I titled this video, Babies in Bathwater. I know it's kind of an odd title, but it's a shortened down version of the saying, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. It's a saying that was first used around the 1500s, back when you would bathe your child in a bucket. And the saying means don't throw out a good thing just because it's associated with a bad thing. Don't throw away the movie, The Blues Brothers, just because Blues Brothers 2000 exists. Blues Brothers 2000 was a terrible movie and besmirched the franchise incredibly. But don't let that horrendous train wreck ruin the first Blues Brothers, one of the best cinematic masterpieces to ever come out of the city of Chicago. The same goes for this car. Yes, it has an automatic transmission. The ND is such a fantastic automobile. Don't let the automatic transmission in this one ruin your day or ruin your ideas of it it's still just as good. It just has a part that I personally would swap out. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater and don't throw the ND Miata out with the transmission. I'm really getting tired of the automatic hate. Do I love a manual transmission? Yes. Do I personally prefer manual transmissions? Yes. But I understand that everyone's circumstance and life choices are different. And I know for some people that's a hard to grasp concept, but that's okay. I don't have to live the same life you do. I can go around liking automatic Miatas. You don't have to. I hope you do, but you don't have to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts and comments about automatic sports cars down below. I'm very curious to hear what you think about these. Are these terrible, lame excuses or are they justified? I think that they're justified. 
Huge thank you to Preston for letting me take out his ND Miata. This thing was really, really cool. Really fun to finally drive an automatic and see what it's all about. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.